Welcome to the Finding Your Political Power Workshop, presented by your Government Relations and Public Affairs Department. My name's Liz Stewart, and I'm a Staff Officer in the Government Relations and Public Affairs Department. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Peter McDonald, who's our Department Head of Government Relations and Public Affairs. We're going to talk a little bit about putting together the puzzle that is action and political engagement. And we all need to do our part to do our piece in order to help elect an education-friendly government. They don't have to be big things. It can be as simple as, will you vote? Those are the types of things that we're going to be talking about. One of the puzzle pieces is awareness. And there's many different things you can do to uh, make yourself more aware about the upcoming election, including what is the next provincial uh, election date? Is it June 2nd? Is it June 6th or June 12th? For that information and a lot of other information, visit www.elections.on.ca and you'll get all sorts of information that will help you make yourself aware. Other things you can do include visiting the uh, political party websites and get to know the platforms of the parties as well as um, who the leaders are. Be aware of the major political issues, and you can do that again by visiting those sites, as well as other uh, websites. You know, through social media, you can find quite a bit of information as well. Also, you know, you might want to make yourself aware of local parent and advocacy groups in your area. What are some of the questions that we might be asking? If you look at the puzzle piece, there are some different options there for us. One of the major ones is finding out who's running in your riding. You'll see we've provided for you the links to different political parties so that you can take a look on their websites and find out who's running within your local riding. Not only that, you should also be able to see on those websites their platforms. The involvement puzzle piece includes things such as making a plan to vote in advance polls and bring a friend to those advance polls. Develop a list of five friends and family to speak about voting develop another list of five friends to speak about, you know, election issues that are important. And if you visit OECTA's political action portal, you'll find some handy tips on how you can engage in that regard. Read posts on social media and, as we mentioned earlier, research party platforms. On this slide, we're going to talk a little bit about activism. Sometimes some of us think activism means, you know, you got to put on a pair of boots, you got to grab a sign, you got to go pick it somewhere. But let's talk about what different types of activism there is. Ask yourself the question, are you planning on voting? If you answer yes, guess what? You're an activist. Could you encourage your family and friends to vote? If the answer is yes, you're a double activist. And there are so many other things we can do that don't involve those big steps. You can donate to a party and or a candidate. And when you donate, remember, you can claim some of that back when you do your taxes. So you get some of the monies back. Are you willing to display a lawn sign? Will you talk to family and friends about putting up lawn signs? Those are the sorts of things that you can do that make you an activist. We've reviewed all of the puzzle pieces with you. Now the question for you to ask is, where do you fit? Is it developing awareness? Is it trying to enhance that awareness through becoming more interested in who's running in your writing, knowing the issues, reading polling data, following candidates, joining one of those parent groups that you've been made aware of, or attend labor council meetings? Is it the activism route? And Liz talked about just simply casting a vote is a form of activism. But there's other forms too, as she mentioned, displaying lawn signs, organizing a canvas, becoming more active on social media, those sorts of things. And the final puzzle piece, involvement, make a plan to vote, reach out to friends and family and engage them either in bringing them to the polls or perhaps having discussions with them about some of the key issues. So how are you going to vote? Are you going to use a mail-in ballot? If you are planning on doing that, as soon as the writ is dropped, you can go to elections.on.ca and you can ask there for your information and you can find out how to register for your mail-in ballot if that's how you're choosing to go. 
You can also find out where your advance polls are going to be, where your returning office is. Or, you know, if you're going to wait and do it on June 2nd, then think about when are you going to be able to do that that day? Are you going to be able to go at lunchtime? Are you going to go after school? Are you going to go after dinner and bring family members along with you? Making a plan to vote is important. So think about how you're going to vote in the upcoming election and think about how you're going to vote in this upcoming election. And think about who you're going to bring with you. In addition to trying to determine where you fit in terms of the various puzzle pieces and how you can become more engaged politically in this election, another key is just being able to work together by sharing information, talking with friends and family, canvassing with friends and family, those sorts of things, that everybody can do their bit. Some people may be, because of just the busyness of their lives, they would rather donate or they would rather do some other small actions, as we mentioned before, just as simply voting or bringing someone to vote who maybe doesn't have transportation to get to the polls. The point is that whatever you do, and if it is one more thing that an additional action that you've committed to uh, that you didn't uh, do in the 2018 election, that could make a difference. It could make a difference in terms of reducing the plurality of perhaps, um, you know, the Conservative Party uh, victory, or you could help make the difference between turning a a riding uh, from blue to red or from blue to orange. So thanks for joining us at this workshop. We hope it's giving you some food for thought or even just some things that you might want to consider doing next and where you fit in on this activism journey. We can all be engaged. There are things that we can all do. But the most important thing you can do right now is commit to vote on June 2nd. Every vote truly does matter, no matter where you live in the province. There's lots of other ways that you can stay involved and active. Be sure to check out the members area of the website, catholicteachers.ca. Sign into the members area and check out what's happening on the political action portal. Thanks for joining us and take care.